In this video, I want to show you how to record audio for your slide presentation using a tool called Screencast-O-Matic. So I'm using Google Slides here, but this could just as easily be a PowerPoint presentation or a keynote slide deck. So have those slides handy and you're going to go to your browser window and type in screencast-o-matic.com. That's going to open up this browser-based screen recording tool. You don't need to log in or to sign up. Just look for the blue button that says Start Recording for Free. Click on that Start Recording for Free, and then you're going to find the Launch Free Recorder button. Go ahead and click on that. And it's going to load a computer a program onto our computer. It's asking, do you want to open this application? Yes, we're going to open the screen recorder launcher. And once it's opened, we will see a black and white kind of dashed line around my screen. And this indicates that um, the recorder has launched and that, it, as it says, the recorder will record anything that happens in this frame. So we have this frame and I can pick it up and move it around if I need to. I can resize it as I need to. Um, it's going to record anything that's inside of this frame. Now I can click back over to my slides and because I want to record my slides, I can position this frame around the edge of my slides. I think it's easier to do it this way than to do it in presentation mode where it fills my whole screen. Um, and I am able to make these adjustments here. Um, with Screencast-O-Matic, you can see here I can record just my screen. I can record just my webcam, which is going to pull up in a second here. Hello. Or I can record both. And that gives me a picture in picture of myself down in the corner and my slide as well. And it would even allow me to turn myself on, like start with my webcam and maybe turn myself off and then maybe come back and end with my webcam talking head. Um, I am going to just do my screen um, and skip the webcam altogether for this one. But you have that option with Screencast-O-Matic. Notice that you have a 15 minute recording time. That's because this is a free recorder and I can only do 15 minutes at a time with this recording. I'm cool with that because I think 15 minutes is a decent amount of time. Um, to, and I can split my long presentations into parts. So if I usually, if these slides take me more than 15 minutes to get through, then I can have a part one, part two, part three of this slide deck. Um, and then you can see the green bars that are moving across this narration panel. This just means that it is detecting my audio. So you are going to do want to do like a sound check, sound check, one, two, three, and make sure that you're getting audio here. If you're not, you would select the microphone and make some changes here so that you're getting the audio that you need. And I think we'll be good to go with that one. It's not going to record any computer audio. So I can't like record a YouTube video and expect to get audio of that video. Um, it's only going to record what it's detecting from the mic. Okay, so I am ready to hit the record button. What's going to happen is it's going to count me down, three, two, one, and then I'm going to get to do my recording. So I'm just going to scroll through my presentation and do my slide uh, presentation here. And then I will have a pause button that I can hit when I'm ready to be done with my recording. So you'll see that happen. Again, I'm going to hit recording, hit re the red record button, count down three, two, one, and, and then do my presentation. And then I'll do a very short version of my presentation, my demo presentation here. And then I'll, it'll turn into a pause button. By the way, if I needed to get back to that screen I was on before, that little gear icon opens up this menu again and allows me to make those changes if I need to. Okay. So here we go. It's going to count me down three, two, one. Hi, everybody. I'd like to share with you our presentation today on whatever this is. So um, they, these are slides from the Slides Carnival um, template. So I can't get credit for these really cool slides. Um, I do want to talk about our first transition headline. So we'll start with our first set of slides about this awesome topic that is extremely vague. And here we'll throw out a quotation because quotations are a great way to inspire an audience. So 
How about this for an awesome quotation? Next, we'll look at this subtitle or slide title, and we've got a bulleted list, and um, we would keep it short and sweet with this slide, wouldn't we? And this is one of my favorites, a big concept. So here we have um, a way to bring the attention to our audience to a key concept. And I think I'll wrap it up with that. So thanks everybody for watching um, these demo slides from Slides Carnival. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Thanks so much for watching. So notice that the recorder went down to the bottom of my screen here. I did open that recorder back up in order to get my menu. And then I had the pause button waiting for me there and I hit pause. My recording time was one minute and 14 seconds. So there's that. And then if I wanted to pick up from where I left off, I could hit this record button again and it tells me continue recording from where I left off. So if I wanted to catch my breath, think about the next handful of slides here and then keep going, then I certainly could use that pause button um, to, to do just that. Um, I can play what I've got here. So it'll show me, it'll give me a preview as it says of what I've recorded. Um, and then I can also trash this if I'm not ready, uh, if I don't like it and start all over. Done means that I'm gonna be, I'm happy with this and I am done. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have very many editing options in this free version, but maybe there's some basic editing. I'm not going to do any here in this demo. Um, I really just want to make this available to my students. So I'm going to click Save Upload. And it gives me this preview version of my video, so I can actually play this. Hi, everybody. I'd like to share with you a minute. I can hear my audio. Um, so I'm glad to see that audio wave at the bottom. That means that it captured my audio and there were no issues there. I do sometimes like to trim the front and end of the uh, clip and this will let me do it on the screen. So I can move that forward, drag and drop it ever so carefully forward. And then this one I can drag and drop ever so carefully to the left. Um, that's handy if you kind of fumbled at the beginning um, or at the end in hitting that record button. Um, so that's a, some very basic editing that's available to you there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send this up to YouTube. Now I've already got my YouTube account connected. So in a subsequent video, I'll show you how you would do it if you were to save it as a video file and then upload it to YouTube more manually. So if I hit upload to YouTube here, because I've already connected it to my YouTube account, um, it's recognized that on this computer and I'm just going to say slides uh, demo one. Okay. And here's where I can decide the privacy level in YouTube. So I'll go ahead and make this public. Um, you can keep it as unlisted if you're just planning on sharing the link with your students in Canvas, um, whatever you wish for there. This is fine, category, education, and cursor highlight. You may have noticed that as I clicked through the slides, it highlights my cursor. And here we'll throw out a quotation. Quotation, because... Actually, I don't really see it. Um, I must not have been moving my mouse at all over top of the slides, but maybe in the beginning. There it is. So if I wanted to take that off, I could say no cursor at all and it hides the cursor. I could say just the cursor and then it doesn't highlight it and I could say highlight the cursor and then it puts that yellow halo around it. So you can decide what would work best for your video. Once I've made those choices, I'm gonna go ahead and publish it. Um, in YouTube, it's gonna take care of the captioning for me. So there's some up, up there's some options here to, um, to upload captions with it as well but I'm just gonna be using the YouTube captioning um, once it's up on YouTube. So let me hit the publish button and then I've already given it permission to write to my YouTube account. So that is part of the setup steps to get these, to get Screencast-O-Matic to quote, talk to YouTube is get, granting that permission. And you can see this um, slowly uploading to my YouTube account and then it'll begin publishing that as well. So once it's complete, I get this um, window, the success window that it's successfully published to YouTube. 
I have a few options here for sharing it to social media, but really what I need is to copy the link. The link to that is the link that I can share with my students in an email, in Canvas, etc. So that's what I need to um, copy. I can also say open upload. So what this is going to do is take me to that YouTube video and play it in YouTube. So let's do that. So it tells me here the video is still being processed. It's not quite ready yet. What I do is I will reload this page and Hi everybody, I'd like to share with Eventually we see that that comes in. Notice the captions aren't there yet, right? This is fresh, hot off the press. Um, so we'll see auto captions come through um, once those run. And I know currently it's been pretty busy and folks are saying that it's taking uh, longer than usual to get their auto captions run. Um, but once they show up, you'll see the CC down here and you'll be able to edit those with your edit video button. Um, I'll check back on this one and um, make sure that this one, the auto captions do run. Okay, so now this is uh, the link that I can share to, with my students in, in Canvas, right? I have my shared link. It's just like any other YouTube video and I can put this in my Canvas course for my students. So here I am over on a Canvas discussion board. If I wanted to include these um, slides in a discussion, I could add a discussion in Canvas, call it our amazing lesson. Right? I've still got that YouTube video on my clipboard. So when I paste, there's the link to the YouTube video. I'm going to paste and hit enter. And that's automatically going to embed that for me into this discussion, I could say, watch the video presentation above, then use the reflection questions here to post your reply to this discussion. And then we could give them, right, whatever our reflection questions are gonna be. If I hit save on this guy, I should see that YouTube video embedded right there in Canvas. So they can hit play. Hi everybody, I'd like to share with you. And there is your narrated slide presentation in Canvas. Once those captions become available, you'll see the caption button down here as well. So that was a quick demo of recording your slides in Screencast-O-Matic, uploading them to YouTube and sharing the link in a, this case, Canvas discussion. Thanks for watching.